Hello, this is Hervé from Comic Book Bin, filling in since 2002. I'm going to be looking at the Stinger, the Cobra Stinger. This is a classic Jeep-like all-terrain vehicle from Cobra, which is obviously a total repaint of the G.I. Joe's van. It was always like that in the old comics, cartoon toys. Seems that Destro was always busy selling to both sides, and that's what happened here. I've got two of those Stingers. It's fun to have them. They're customized just enough to not be complete clones of the van. So let's look at those guys and have fun. Fun. Of course, my review comes months after the thing has already been released and reviewed by everybody else. But I'm sorry, I'm very busy at work. I couldn't make it before. The Cobra Stinger, unlike the Vamp, was not exclusive to Hasbro Pulse. You can find it on Amazon and a lot of other retailers specialized in action figures. So there's still a lot of them around. And again, unlike the Vamp, you can find it pretty much everywhere. So I would suggest that you shop for deals. It seems that Hasbro made a bit too many Cobra Stingers. So if you wait a little bit you might get a good discount on some of them all right let's look at the cobra stinger driver first he's a repaint of the cobra trooper but with different boots and gloves a gray uniform and in this case darker skin the boots and glove from the cobra stinger driver come from the cobra officer as you can see here he sports the classic looking weapons of the cobra officers and he's almost the same build like i mentioned as the cobra trooper here we can see him next to a cobra retro Trooper, they're almost the same. The chest is from the Cobra Trooper. You'll notice that I've got two stingers over here. So I've modified the second stinger driver and I made him a white guy. I took that extra head either from a Python officer, the black version, or a fire team trooper. I don't know which one. As I've covered in another video, I've made 24 different kit bashes of Cobra Troopers, officers, and so on. So I don't know exactly whose head belongs to whom originally that's part of the fun of course the two troopers look very good next to the stinger the stinger has gray tones which fits pretty well with the uniform that they sport and that uniform is also based on the classic stinger driver uniform from way back it was always this way and it's fun to see that those old ways are still in the classified lines that even though everything has been modernized it still resembles the old troops the old characters that we know and this stinger is exactly the the same way it feels like the old thing in fact i've got a newer stinger the one from 2021 and it just looks like a bigger version of that old stinger the articulation are going to be the same as usual there's nothing special it's a cooper trooper the stinger driver come with an armband a red armband and you'll notice that i don't like the paint on the driver's face i think that the paint application on the other spare head that i've got here the caucasian character is much better the red is thicker. It hides the black plastic underneath. Each of them came with a red gun holster that will take either the submachine gun or the AK-47. It's better to put the AK-47 in that holster. You could bend part of the submachine gun with it. I see a lot of YouTubers doing that, constantly bending part of the submachine gun. You shouldn't be doing that. You're going to break your weapons. The AK-47 is really what should be going on the figure's back. The articulations are good enough so that you can easily bend the knees and raise the hips so the figure can go easily inside of the jeep for some figure it's going to be a bit more difficult to put them in the jeep if you want a side driver i haven't decided yet which character i was going to put with them in the jeep i thought maybe the baroness from the movie or the fire team's techno viper but i don't think that they're right fit i'm gonna have to find better figures to put next to those guys as co-drivers maybe the fire team officers would be a good fit now the stinger is a complete repaint of the vamp it's a beautiful vehicle and it looks like exactly the old one from 1983 1984 if we take a look at the cockpit inside it's not exactly just like the vamp it's different colors but there is a gear shift that you can move if you try to rotate the steering it's not gonna move the wheels underneath they're not connected at all now the wheels are made of rubber like plastic I'm not sure if it's real rubber or if it's some kind of very soft PVC it comes with bulletproof doors and a roof which is not the case with the vamp which was more open but that's because your cobra characters need more protections they're not as tough as gi joe's both the vamp and the stinger have good suspension if you press on the wheels there is some rebound that's very good there's a turbine turbo motor attachment that you can put on the hood it means that your jeep is really like eight cylinder or something i don't know it's fun to play around with that 
Those small touches make the Stinger look a bit different than the Vamp, but you can tell that Destro has been busy selling to both sides again. Now, I don't know how you call that insert at the front of the hood. I call them claws. I think it's made to bump into other vehicle and ram into them, damage them a bit. The Vamp doesn't have that. It's got headlights instead. And attached to that, there is a pulley, so your Stinger can be hooked on something else and can pull it. You'll have to manually fling back the cord with your finger once you've pulled it out. Just like the vamp, it comes with a shovel insert. The good thing about this shovel, unlike the original Stinger, is that it was molded on the truck. This one is removable. Of course, you can open the canopy, but you can also push the front window a bit down. They're a bit darker than the windows on the vamp, and that's just all right. It goes with the styling, the colors, it's just fine. You can open the front hood and remove the motor. Now, I'm not removing the motor on this one, but it is removable. Again, if you want to have scenes where your Techno Viper are fixing the Stinger because it's stuck in mud or something like that or they're removing the turbo. That's up to you to do that. And that's the fun thing with this vehicle, this set, is that you can make believe anything you want. You'll notice at the back a yellow fire hydrant. It's tiny and it's not exactly the same color as the one that came with the van, but it's exactly the same. There's no windows in the back, so it's easy to reach to that fire hydrant and use it, remove it. It's up to you. It just pins on a hook, but it's easy to fall off. It can be a bit loose. Now my biggest gripes about both the Stinger and the Vamp is that the peg for their weapon system, in this case a missile rack, are too short. Longer peg would have mean that they stay better on the vehicle. If you just twist them, play with them, they don't just fall off easily. I mean it's sturdy enough but it's easy to move and I don't like that. Now the rack comes with four missiles. They're easy to peg in but they're also easy to fall. At least the rack comes with a ratchet system so as you elevate or lower the rack it can aim better at some target. There's an extra stand that you can attach on the Stinger if you want a Cobra Trooper at the back of the Jeep. Now I don't recommend it because the back draft from the missile might fry your Trooper but does Cobra really care about its Troopers? Who knows? Potentially it can carry an extra troop if you want. That's the part that we care about whether it's safe or not that's something else. The Vamp comes with two mirror. I think they stuck some kind of plastic sticker in there to mimic a mirror like reflection but it works and you feel like this is a convoy that may be carrying someone very important a valuable player just like Cobra Commander or Destro and that's why they need to protect this Jeep better. Now I've bought only one MSS missile system. I usually like to troop build Cobra gear but here I didn't do it I just bought one. It's attached to the Jeep. It can be attached to a his tank or a Jeep so it can actually elevate or lower depending on which vehicle you're pinning it to. It's not easy to pin originally, but once it's attached, it's gonna stay on pretty solidly. Some collectors have bought some gridiron extra parts. I've decided not to at this time, and I think that the MSS makes the Stinger look even better. It's the same dark gray black type of styling with red finish and dark gray. It's the same look as a his tank also. Now, once you attach the MSS system, You'll have to be careful not for the missile not to hit the other set of missile or things could get very explosive around your figures. But there's enough room for both systems to be attached to one another and it works. There's just enough clearance for that. Of course, if you have the MSS attached to your Stinger, you'll have to remove the legs from the MSS so they don't sit and elevate and can roll with the car. Again, you can play with your Techno Viper. There's a lot of fun to be had with this system and the figures and so on. Just have fun. You'll notice that the Stinger's wheels are the same one as the MSS. Again, that's Hasbro using the same parts over and over again, and that's okay. It makes it possible to have specific vehicles like that. All we're missing right now is a ASP system, and that will be for the other Stinger. Now, I haven't gone outside to play with my MSS and Stinger set. It might be a bit too late. It might be some snow in a few weeks, who knows? But I want to say, have fun with this set. It's all terrain. You can put extra figures next to your Stinger driver. Just have fun. Those are great vehicles. They're still for sale from Hasbro Pulse and a lot of other retailers, including Amazon. You can find it easily. The price is a bit steep. Yes, it is. And it does take a lot of space if you're limited in space for your collection. But at the same time, once you've got this, I don't think you want to get rid of it. It's so nice 
it is a golden age for action figures to have great vehicles like that. The vamp is not too big, not too small. It's the right size. Same thing for the stinger. It goes well on a shelf, which is the whole point of this collection anyway. I really like having a stinger. I like having two of them when you have one vamp. It's just fun to collect. I'm hoping that you'll have fun with yours if you've got one. And if you're still unsure about whether to get it or not, there's time for you. There's a lot of those around. There might be some great sales like Black Friday very soon where there'll be on special so don't be an idiot like me don't buy it right away wait a bit there'll be some good deals eventually i don't foresee that retailers will want to keep such a big box in their stores for so long so this was my review for the stinger i like it very much this is hervé from comic book bin filling you in since 2002 like and subscribe